Midjourney as version 6 has just hit the scene after intense development, and it's a game changer that offers a fresh canvas for image creation. The images you see here testify to a significant leap in quality, a notable enhancement from previous iterations. Version 6 has introduced a simple and easy way to prompt without entering complex terminologies. The bot is smart enough to understand your requirements. On top of that, it introduces the novel feature of text integration in images, moreover image prompting, new upscale features, some exciting parameters, and much more to be explored in this whole playlist for Midjourney v6. Let's dive in, but remember this is an alpha release, so expect some surprises along the way. You can easily switch to version 6 by typing forward slash settings in the prompt box and choose version 6 alpha. Let's kick off with this image. Have you noticed the text? A quick tip for better results and close your text in quotes that you want to show in the image. Opting for style raw or dialing down the stylized values can be quite beneficial. But hey, not every shot's a winner. You can play around to get the optimal result. The upgraded scales are now in your control. Currently, they amplify images by a factor of 2x and come in two options, subtle and creative. These modes influence the degree of alteration during the upscaling process. On your screen, I've displayed a side by side comparison of the subtle and creative modes against the original, giving you a clearer picture of the differences. While the changes aren't dramatically stark, the creative mode he often adds a detailed touch to certain elements. Moreover, you did not need to mention these aspect ratios and version parameters again. You can create a data set you use the most, like I use 16 by 9. To do this type suffix, mention all parameters that don't want to repeat for each turn. Now these parameters are good to go. If you need to change the parameter, just add that particular parameter which will override the existing parameter value while generation. This is just the beginning. Version 6 is still evolving, with further refinements and enhancements. Currently, you can access features like Aspect Ratio, Chaos, Weird, Style Raw, and a few others, including the Version 5 described feature. However, options like Panning, Zoom, VAR Region, or Tune are not yet available in Version 6, though it will be equipped with all these very soon. Prompting in Version 6 is a whole new ballgame compared to Version 5, it's been noted that you'll need to reacquaint yourself with how to prompt effectively in this new version. It's more responsive to your prompts. As I mentioned, you can add a prompt in your smooth, conversational language instead of using fancy terminologies like award-winning, 4K, or 8K and more, as I did in this example. I have not mentioned palm trees, but due to Miami it anticipates and shows palm trees along with wet roads. Have you noticed the pink sidewalks in all these images precisely according to the prompt? Meanwhile, a shorter prompt has also followed what I mentioned in the prompt. This has never been with Midjourney version 5. In addition to this, I have played with some styles as well in order to to elaborate on the capability of version 6. With this short prompt in the 1980 sitcom style, you can see it draws spectacular series production results with many details. Similar to futuristic cars, it follows the older trends, but with the change of style, it dramatically changes the whole perspective of the results. There are plenty of other results I have generated, like a girl in a fluoro zombie core and a train engine at the station in diesel punk style. I like the third and fourth option. The real power of version 6 relies on its capability to understand the prompt. Even with a single word, it can generate the results of this caliper. It can efficiently imagine what result would be the best to show against that particular word. Moreover, the aesthetic detail we got is just mind-blowing. There's a ton to explore with this new model. So if you're curious about version 6's capabilities, follow our channel as I am about to release a complete guide about various aspects and features, particularly Midjourney v6. I ran a little experiment with stylized values using a consistent prompt about a portrait of an Instagram model in old-fashioned Hollywood style. I played around with different stylized values. Notice, how do details increases in significant value by changing stylized value from 100 to 200, 300, 400, or even 500 in different arrangements? It is just remarkable how this beast produces results without writing long descriptive prompts. Lastly, talk about heat difference in the quality of results between version 5 and 6. First, take this stunning waterfall in nature with sun rays, for instance. The detail in the trees and branches is remarkably lifelike, capturing the passing rays from the tree branches and leaves and the realistic water flow over rocks. It's a step closer to true-to-life imagery, indicating the strides in achieving photorealism. The extreme extremely intimidating black skull is just another stunning generation this beast has generated. Just look at the tiny details over the skull, and fireflakes or sparkles are astonishing. Spicy burger chain advertisement art has just touched another level of spectacular work done by version 6. Meet 
sauce, and even the sesame seeds create a real-life experience. Stoic marble statue with Greece-themed background is another masterpiece. V6 has put so many details with the cinematic atmosphere that creates a unique flavor into the image. Consider the depiction shot of DC's Harley Quinn. The V6-generated image is more photographic, which contrasts with the version 5's CG-like quality. Version 6 has adopted a creative approach for a more photographic result. Here Style Raw would be the choice to enhance it further. Now look at this general shot of a spacecraft through space. The rendition of version 5 is commendable but tends towards symmetry. Version 6, on the other hand, captures a scene so lifelike it could pass for an actual photograph captured from high-resolution satellites. Moving away from an artificial appearance, there's the incredible Viking. Version 5 already did a great job, but version 6 takes it to another level. The detailing in the veins, muscles, and skin texture is a significant upgrade in quality. It's astounding how AI has pushed the boundaries, adding incredible depth and detail to the Viking portrayal with version 6.